Mind Shaper 1000 here. We're going to put a bumper on this truck. I got to pull it over here in the driveway. I've got my air hose out here. So. Okay. Not sure what that is. It's not throwing a code. That's just the uh, seatbelt light. Uh, so I don't know, maybe the lights burn out. Uh, so I'll have to run some codes on this thing. I'm just gonna pull it over here on the concrete. So, yeah, that's all we're gonna be doing today. Uh, I might put the lights in. Depends on if the rain holds out. I got some ribs. I'm doing a new recipe on some ribs. I think I got enough room there. Let's check and see. Yeah. That is what we're replacing. Okay, so um. My monkey put her palm tree here and I said, I wouldn't put it there. As I said, it ain't going to last a week and run over it. No, it won't. Well, it wasn't a week and she ran over it. She's like, well, can you fix that? I don't know. So anyway. Alright, let's, uh. Let's get our crap together, get the bumper out here. I'll get this one yanked off. Last time I didn't take the whole bumper off because I just replaced the bumper brackets. So I just did one at a one one side at a time. Like I took this bracket out, put the new one in, you know. Um, I think that's how I did it. Hell, I can't remember now. All right, guys, let's go get our stuff. Okay guys, these are tools we're going to be using. I don't know if I can get that up in there good enough or not, but we're going to use a half inch drive. I believe it's an 18 socket, 18 wrench, cigarettes. The cigarettes is matter of preference. You know, you may smoke nine, you may smoke ten, who knows. I got one, that's just in case I run into problems. This is a one beer job, guys. If you can't do this in one beer, well, you don't need to be doing it. Now that's during the process, is one beer. Now, if, what's this guy doing? Oh, he's going over there and mow. Now if, if you got some friends over, now you're probably gonna have a few before and a few after but during it's a one beer job of course we all know this is fake beer because it's you know i'm on blood thinners i can't drink so we've got our got our bumper brackets and we have our hardware so that should be all the tools we need I don't know if I'm going to need an extension or anything, but you get the idea. You can do it all with a wrench, but these are for the license plate. These are for the license plate. Now, I don't have the tool out here for that to show you guys because I figure if you don't know how to change the license plate, you shouldn't be changing the whole bumper that's that the license plate's bolted to. Okay, so this is, what, this is it. Now, this is pretty heavy. I may, I may have to get a jack out here, okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get these out of the bag, I showed these to you the other day, but if you didn't see them, this is what they look like, um, so there is a left and right to these things, okay. 
see there's a left and a right all right so it'll either go like that or like that i can't remember but anyway that's i don't know if they're marked but you'll you'll know once you get them off of there which one goes where um i'll show you down under there underwear i just made you say underwear i'll get down there i'll show you what i'm going to do and then i'll back you out it gets you know kind of tedious i'm up in your way and everything i'll show you the bolts to take out it's no big deal and then i'll back you up and we'll drop the bumper down i don't think i'm going to need to uh need to the jack to drop the bumper i may not need it to put it on we'll just have to see what i may what i may do is go ahead and put the brackets on kind of loosely because you know you want to adjust it sometimes you don't have to sometimes it'll go right on see this is bullshit you know every time i want to do something so anyway guys i'll i guess i'll have to speak up jesus christ every time i break the camera out i can't fucking film so anyway what the hell is i saying but i'll put them on loosely in case i have to adjust it and then um then I'll put the bumper on and uh, I'll put everything in finger tight and then you can adjust it as you go. I'm going to have a beer first and wait on this fucking idiot. God, man. Uh, he's not an idiot. He's just doing his job. But, geez, it seems like every time I break the camera out, you know, I, I have a parade of cars flying past. I got people wanting to turn their music up. People wanting to decide, well, I'm going to mow now, you know. It just gets irritating, you know. You got, you got people come over to visit you. They go, oh, it's so quiet out here. Yeah, break the camera out. <laughs> All right, we also got to take the ball hitch, uh, the bumper mount ball hitch off. And I tried to take it off before, and it's really on there. So um, I didn't bring that socket out because, you know, you may not have to deal with that. But I will show you how to get this bumper off. We may have to heat or the... The ball off the bumper, we may have to heat it up, but that's mainly what this is for, so. All right, guys. I'm going to get my game plan together. It's already hot, but it is noon, so. Then we'll start working on this. I got to get my pad, too, my mat to lay on. It really helps to have one of them mats. I don't know where her dad got it at, but it's really cool. It just folds out, folds up and folds out. So pretty neat hang tight okay guys this is what we're looking at here Man. all right um we gotta take that bolt out where you at? right there and that bolt out there which they go through here there's one there and there's one right there. I do that on both sides. So like I said, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pull this bumper off. But first, let's get our uh, license plate lights up here out of the way. I think that's all we need to worry about on this one. This is all for trailer lights. You gotta have one of these. It's a converter box. They're like 50 bucks. Okay, so same way there, that bolt out and that bolt out. So what I'm probably gonna do is just take them bolts out and drop let this bumper drop down. Let me get my uh get our I'm on the old I'm on the uh JVC. It's not really an old camera, <laughs> but to me it's old um, because well I never use it I just don't care for it it's a great camera I just don't care for this JVC and this is one I only gave $20 for it is a $200 camera if you buy it new but I gave 20 bucks for it and it had never been uh, the packaging had never been opened before the box had been open but the camera was wrapped in in plastic and it was never open this thing was never used. He told me it wasn't. But Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead 
taking bolts out and let this damn bumper drop down out of here. So, but that's what I'm going to do. Okay, guys, I got you on this side. Hopefully, I don't cover you up too much. Now, the older bolts, the original bolts are bigger bolts. Now, what I mean, when I say bigger, I mean the head's bigger, but it's the same, it's the same size thread. So, if you, if you think, well, I'll go ahead and use the old bolts, because they're bigger, remember it's the same thread. So you're not really saving anything by doing that, just use the new ones. Okay. Get my wrench on the side here. Oh, I forgot. Bigger bolt. Need a bigger wrench. Alright, here we go again. So, add a bigger socket and wrench to that. I'm using three quarter. That's not what it is, but <laughs> it was the closest. So that's what I grabbed. Yeah, it is. So there's this side. Well, that wasn't very exciting, but that's okay, right? So now, the reason why I left them on there, so I can tell which one's which. So it's going to be, it's like this side here. That's the left side. This is the right side. <laughs> okay. Now, let's get our get our bolts out here there we go okay I'm gonna check him for size I gotta go cool down remember guys if it's 100 degrees it may be a couple beer job but we'll see let me go cool down a little bit okay guys here's the deal with the bolts I can use them On this hole on both sides and the two down there those two I can use them on there because they do fit there but I can't use it on the weld nut hole because they are a different thread so I can use six out of the eight so that's what I'm gonna do like I said guys, they're the same diameter bolt, just the heads are bigger. So, I mean, think about it. If you, you know what I mean? It's just the heads that are different, but the same diameter bolt. So, we're gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna put this on, this mount. I'm just gonna do one side so you get the idea of how the mount is supposed to go. Where you at? Right. Right here. Okay, so this is just gonna slide like this, like a fork. It's just gonna go, just gonna go like that, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead. Put this bolt in here with the nut. I'll give you guys a better look at it here in just just a minute. Okay. Now we're gonna put. This is the only one we're gonna have to use of the old ones. Well, 
this one and one on the other side. So we're going to be able to use uh, six out of eight. I don't know what changed, but I mean, it's for this bumper for 2000 to, or is it 98 to 2004? Anyway, I know it'll fit a 2000 and 2004. And this is a M03, so. And like I said, I'm gonna leave these so I can adjust that bumper, you know. So, this is what we're looking at here. Uh, here. New one goes there, and this is how this goes. It just slides in there like that. And that's that one. So I'm gonna do the other side. I'll get it put up on there, and then I'll show you how we're gonna put the bumper on. There it is. I had to come in and cool down. 91, real fill of 104. That's a heat index. To me, it's 104. Okay, guys, this is the underneath of the bumper. This is the ball for the hitch. You see that? Someone's put a short shank in there. I don't like that, so I'm just going to get a new ball and put on it because that, uh, I don't like that at all. It's only on there just a few threads, so, so I'm not going to be taking that off of there. But if you had to, you could heat this up around here, put your impact on there, and that'll take it right off. But so let's get the bumper, the new bumper up in there, onto here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here. And it is hotter than hell. I'm just going to set it like that, and I'm going to go up inside and start a couple bolts. There's only two on each side, so and then we'll adjust it and everything how we need it in a couple minutes. Now, if you got a friend that likes to drink beer and he ain't doing nothing, have him hold this for you. But you can do it by yourself, it'll stay there. Now inside here, you may not be able to use your gun. You may have to use a... Uh... Oh, I got this on the wrong hand. <laughs> In the wrong hole, guys. You may have to use a ratchet, which that's what I'm going to use, or a wrench, whatever you got. Go in the bottom holes like this. There we go. There's four holes. I'll show you here in a minute. Because, like I said, this will fit different applications. Come on. Another. Shit. Monkey found my pad. She brought it out and set it here. I said, you put that in the sun? Well, I found it. She brought it out for me. She said, I hope not. I hate when she says that. I don't think so. I came out, it was laying right in the damn sun. I would have had third degree, I would have had third degree burns on me. Now you can use on the inner ones, you'll be able to use your gun on, but the 
outer ones out towards the end here. You won't be able to. Damn it. Like a new paint. Don't want to slide. That's weird. I got two started. I'm going to get them run in a little bit and then I'll bring you under here and show you what I'm doing. Come on. Okay guys, there's that, there's what I did, see nothing goes in the top holes, just got them started and they're just finger tight, just like that, now if you're taking a bumper off and putting it back on, you can see where the old bolts were, so um, I think this nut the flange is about that size, so I'll get it close to where it was. Now, a lot of times you can line these up with your tailgate. A lot of times you, you can line these up with your tailgate. This tailgate's kind of messed up a little bit. Now if you're on really, really level concrete you can use a level on it but you know what all i do is just eyeball them i'm not going to fix that corner piece there uh you know i'm not getting a new tailgate because this one does function fine i do need to adjust it a little bit and oil it because it doesn't close like it should you used to never have to lift that handle up to get it to close but so that's no big deal there what I'm going to do is just eyeball it because that's, you know, it's not a show vehicle. So I'm just going to kind of look at it down through there 
down through there and the bumper looks pretty straight there I'm going to go ahead and tighten them down now and uh, I may raise it up just a tiny bit and then I'll go ahead and tighten these down pretty much right where it is okay I guess you can get your you can get down in there I thought I had trouble last time getting down in there yep. put them in give them a quarter turn through this hole here for now until we get another ball to put on it okay that was fun stuff let's go out and rip this plastic off I don't know what it is but everybody loves peeling brand new plastic off stuff like phones and computers and tablets and laptops and now I will be using these the new no screws these they just get punched in like that like that now just for the hell of it let's check them lights they were both working but you never know you get to shut I forgot to fix that you get to fiddling with that stuff they may not work I think it's just a clip, but I went ahead and bought a whole new handle because these handles will break. But I got a clip off the old one in case I need it. All right, turn the parking lights on. That one's working. And that one's working. This is that mat I was telling you about. It's pretty cool. There it is. Oh, I hate this camera. It's always like, it's not a wide angle. It was like that, and then you got your little handle here. You can pick it up. It's supposed to have a Felcro thing here, but that's okay. You can just, <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Nice. All right, there it is, guys. Okay, I don't know how well this camera's going to pick this up, but there's a ding right here. There's one right here and one right down there. Now, I'm not restoring the truck. If I was restoring it, that bumper would go back. But there's another reason why I'm not sending it back. I got to looking, and there's three dings on the box right in that spot. So I think it was done in shipping. So I'm not going to make the, the manufacturer of this bumper pay for something that wasn't their fault. So, But yeah, I'd have to send it back if I was restoring it because that... Like I said, I don't know how well the camera's picking it up, but but you can definitely you can definitely see them. They're there, but that's okay. Like Monkey said, it's already broke in. <laughs> okay, guys, we're back in the garage cooling down. The only thing I got left is put the license plate back on this. No problem. Um, since the last time, it has changed. Still 91, but real feel 105. September 3rd man okay so um, sorry I had to use this thing but I figured when I gave 20 bucks for it if I drop a bumper on it I'm not breaking a thousand dollar camera like I said it's all right but it's not real wide angle uh, you, the screen is real dark you can't hardly see anything especially in the daytime and also you know the mic's not as great so that's why it's kind of talking real loud but oh, oh. you guys go over and check her out my camera's picking up her face on the, uh, so 
check her out she just got one uploaded all right I always watch hers like when she's at work and I comment and all I comment on them and stuff like that so I save them for when she's at work and then I watch them uh, so anyway guys again sorry about the piss poor footage but you get the idea it's four bolts you know the hardest part is getting them lined up as you've seen if you got a buddy that likes to drink a couple beers with you buy him a six pack I'll let him give you a hand uh, but as far as you know just putting it on you don't need it for that you just need them kind of help you move it a little bit because that new paint you know it doesn't want to slide real well I think they're powder coated uh, on the the mounts the brackets there's four bolts and don't forget your two um, license plate lights that's all real simple um, easy to do so anyway guys I got another uh, stupid shit happening in the neighborhood video coming up <laughs> I don't know what's going on in this neighborhood but weird stuff going on at nine o'clock in the morning like yard work not just one person but a couple you'll see it it'll be on the next video <laughs> anyway guys thanks uh the next truck video we're gonna put the parking lights in real simple it's like one screw i'll show you how to do that that'll be a quick video and i'm gonna cool down i got a rack of ribs in the oven I marinated them overnight I didn't film this because really there's nothing to it you just peel the membrane off the back cut off any excess fat I just cut these in half and put them in a I just got them in a, a like a casserole a glass casserole dish um, ceramic whatever and I'm cooking them at 275 for three to four hours and they should fall off the bone uh, if something weird happens there I'll throw that in the weird stuff. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, so tomorrow's Friday. We will be doing a late night in the shop video tomorrow night. Um, health providing uh, a lot of times. And life providing. You know, a lot of times life happens. You just can't get to it and you're just tired. But mm, I think... I'll give you a hint. It's got something to do with this thing. So, one of these. <laughs> yes, that's just one. Alright guys, we'll see you in the next one. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend, I am burning up. Remember, vote Shea Bear for President 2020. Yeehaw. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.